Holy moly! It's got half-naked dancing girls. It's got dragons. Sold! I am in there, guys. Welcome to Let's Play Vagrant Story for the PlayStation. This shit came out in 2000. Man, that's near the end of the PS1 era. Anyways, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super duper excited to get going on this one. Mostly because, out of all the PS1 RPGs that I can call blind, this is one of those ones that I can literally say I've never played before. Because even though there's a couple I remember back in the day playing like maybe like a demo or like renting them and also I didn't mean to let it go to the loading thing it's probably gonna load up the the FMV again um, th there's a plenty of RPGs I remember testing out like demoing my cousin rented a few in particular I can think of that I never actually played all the way through this is one of those ones that I literally never played I don't think he even rented this one I think it was past the point of which we started stopped renting PS1 games, or at least that I did. I was busy replaying all the other PS1 games I already loved, pretty much. So this is one that kind of slipped through my fingers and I never got to play. So big, big shout out and thank you to Rigitsu because he gave me this game last year and I'm so sorry that it took me this long to get to it, but he should know that RPGs take a long time and you know eventually I was going to have to get it in there. So here we go. Let's click new game and get it started before we get stuck into another freaking cutscene again or whatever. Because I just want to get it started, man. RPG blind, dude. These are always exciting for me when I've literally never played them at all because I have no idea what's in store for me. And I don't know shit about this game. Literally nothing. It's made by Square, too, which is even crazier to me. Duke Bar Dorba's Manor. Okay, 2.32 a.m. Bar Dorba. Got it. Am I supposed to click something or are we good? Ah. Bardorba. Oh, someone got stabbed down. Oh, look at that texture mapped gra fucking graphics. So good. Have you found Sydney? I have no idea what to do with these voices yet, but I just want to point out real fast that these 3D models are amazing. You can tell if you look at them that they're all one piece and they just texture map the whole character's body over that one piece. It's actually kind of hilarious looking. But anyway, have you found Sydney? Uh, you mean Sydney, Australia? Not yet, sir. Put out the fires, or we'll lose the manor, and all will be for naught. Split the knights into two groups, one to douse the blaze, the other to exterminate the traitors. Right away, sir! Man, there's actually a lot of detail on his face. He even blinked. Crazy. Where are you, Sydney? Oh shit, opening credit style like it's a movie? Loving it. Loving it, dude. I still can't believe this is a freaking Square game that I just know nothing about. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Uh-oh. Our triumphant hero is entering the picture, guys. Tell by the music. It's fucking Castlevania looking right here. I like it. This has got to be him. It looks like the guy on the cover of the game. Question is, what is his name? I really don't know. He's got a sword, though. Oh yeah. Close the door behind you. I wouldn't want anyone to escape. <laughs> uh huh. Show them who they're dealing with. Torch the chambers and kill the hostages. Aye, aye, sir. This is kind of douchey, man. Why are you doing this to the peeps, man? I don't even know. I literally don't have no idea what's going on. We're at some dude's manor. That's all we know. All right, guy with weird hair. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to make noise. He's going to give away his position. kind of like this as being the opening credit sequence. kind of cute. kind of cute. Especially for a PS1 game. You have to take into account this is PS1 era. This is pretty epic. Got our 
Assassin's Creed member over here. We've no time! Let's finish this before the blades arrive! Right, let's do it quick and get out of here. Yeah! Uh-oh. Shit! Who goes there? Wasn't me! I mean, yeah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, here we go. Hey up! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, is it action-y? Oh shit, okay. Uh, my- Oh god, I'm pressing buttons. Oh, I'm pressing buttons. Okay, square jumps. Triangle goes into a menu. Circle- What? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, circle brings out my sword. And circle attack too. Oh. Oh, right arm. God, talk about just throwing me into here. Left arm, right arm. What am I doing? Head? Okay. Everything has its own HP. This is weird. Weird. Okay. What do I... Oh. I, I attacked. You see that? It happened. What am I... Oh. Oh. Okay. So I have to press circle. And then press circle again. Aha. Aha. Wow. This is going to be... An interesting battle mode. God damn. There was no tutorial, by the way. <laughs> Just threw me into this. I didn't need, I I might need to break out the fucking manual. Thank God Rigitsu bought me the real deal. I can look at the manual. I might have to break that shit out. Oh my god. I literally didn't know what to do. Square jumped, triangle went into a menu. X didn't seem to do anything. X is probably the cancel button in this game. Like a normal Japanese RPG game. Circle is confirmed. While X or cross is canceled. Well, have you put? Well, have you found it? It's no use. There's nothing like that here anywhere, sir. Keep looking, damn you! I'm telling you, Sydney, the knights are nearly upon us. Stop your whimpering. You'd come this far only to leave empty-handed. Now search. All I know is Sydney better be hot, otherwise I'm out. Okay, well, they're going to go outside and find those other guys murdered. Better lock the door behind you. Gotta say, I'm a fan of this opening sequence so far. They even made me battle. Shit. Curse the Duke! Where's he hidden it? You sure the Duke really has it? Does the damn thing even exist? It's full metal fucking alchemist over here. You doubt me, Hardin? This is straight fucking Edward Elric right now, dude. Crazy. You doubt my power? Uh, forgive me, I did not intend... But Sydney, any longer, and there will be no escape for us. Oh, is this Sydney? This guy's name is Sydney? Oh, okay. Fine, then. Bring the boy and come with me. Bring the boy? Who's the boy? Who's the boy? I can't tell if the dude's even a girl or a guy. I think he's a guy with two mechanical arms, but I can't I can't say for sure with a shirt off. Don't move, Sydney. Oh, is that me? Is that me? Oh, it's me. All right. That's me. I have a bow gun aimed at your heart. Ooh. And by the judge of your arms, I'm assuming your heart is next. Now turn round slowly. You're no knight, are you? Bind your legs with that rope. Ooh, tie yourself up, bitch. Ah, wrist breaker. A royal guard dog. Did you not hear me? Bind yourself now. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Hold it! Oh, get wrecked, homie. You thought the main character was going to get fooled by such nonsense? You crazy bitch. He said he had to aim at your heart. That's what you get, homie. That's what you get. Uh-oh. Sydney! Oh, shit. What? I... I'm the one you want. Oh, uh, what? Oh shit, arrow to the heart. Not even dead. Hardin, go quickly. Go to Leomond. God, he 
He's got a little boy. You stop! Oh, shoot. Are we about to throw down right now? Oh, yeah. Bring it, Sydney. What's going on? You were most certainly dead. Leave the back from the grave stuff to the fairy tales. Ooh, one liner. One liner. <laughs> Leave the back to the grave stuff to the fairy tales. <laughs> Ah, oh, this game already get already on my good side, I think. Is he gonna yank it out and live? Yup. Tis but a scratch. You've given me quite a scratch. Oh, I was joking, but he really went there. Show a little more respect for fairy tales, risk breaker. Detox! Detox? Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, man. There's a dragon already. Aw, oh, man. It's already got fucking weapons sticking at it, too. Somebody was already attacking this bitch. <laughs> He's got a fucking spear in his eye. <laughs> Crazy. Detox. My apologies. I have no time. To toy with you. So I had to make him breathe hard. I just realized he's hurting. He got fucking shot in the heart. And it's too late. Are we fighting this dragon right now? Oh, he bloody. He bloody. He bloody, though. Get back here! I'm not finished with you! Oh, well, maybe re wreck your dragon right around there, won't he? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. You guys ready? For a true first battle? Here we go. Run! Battle mode! Ah, special attack fire breath. No! Don't, 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 don't. There's nothing I can even do about it. He's gonna hit me no matter what. Well, shit. Fuck him up in the head. Yo, get it. Get him again. Yo, get him. Get him again. Yo, get him. Get him again. Yo! Uh, wait, okay, so neck. I'm just gonna keep swacking at the head, why not? Keep swacking at the head. Swack him. Swack him. Oh, did I win already? Hold on. Swapped him at the head like three times. Oh, shit. I guess that's a yes! Owned, dragon! Owned! Get out of here. Also, Sakaguchi! He's all up in this game. I like it. Kagechi, that's my boy. That's my Final Fantasy boy. Alright, this has been a hell of a way to kick off a game. I gotta say, we are not even at 15 minutes yet, and this shit is already going down, homie. Crazy. The question is, what the hell's going on? That's the real question. Who am I? What's my name? Rockbreaker? What did he call me? Anyway, produced and directed by Yasumi Matsuna! Matsuna! Already, this looks amazing for PS1. Let's not, let's not fucking mince words. I know what I said about, I know what I said about the character model when the first scene popped up, but still, it looks pretty damn good. Lea Monde? Or Lea Mond? Lea Mond? Or Le Mond? I don't know. Anyway, that must be where we need to go. As the sun rises, we begin our adventure through title's gonna pop up right now on Epic Like. Vagrant Story! There it is. Alright. Exciting. Oh my god. That was a fantastic intro. Wow. Even fucking made me do fights and battles and everything. It's crazy. No tutorial necessary, apparently. The body is but a vessel for the soul, a puppet which bends to the soul's tyranny, and lo, the body is not eternal, for it must feed on the flesh of others, lest it return to the dust once it came. Therefore must the soul deceive, despise, and murder men. AJ... Durai. Right. Never heard that quote before, but it's, it's, it's poetic. I like it. I like it. The body is but a vessel for the soul. Not bad. I don't know if this is a loading screen or if I'm just waiting because it's a long. You gotta have, let kids have long enough to read it, man. You gotta let kids have long enough. Soul of the night. 
knights who came were not the king's men, but the cardinals. Knights of the Cross, led by Guild... Guild... Guildenstern? Guildenstern, alright. Knights of the Cross, Lord... But led by Guildenstern, my lord. The Crimson Blades, to, in direct service to the cardinal. This is Duke Bardorba's secondary residence, I see. So he wasn't home. Guildenstern led his men toward Le, Le Mans in pursuit of Sydney. I see. Send one of your men in the armor of these holy knights. Set fire to the manor. Wait, what? Send one of your men in the armor of these holy knights. Oh. Really? He wants to burn his own house down? Fire, my liege! The old Sydney used his wife, and we can't have witnesses telling the world now, can we? But the hostages, your family. Irrelevant! Burn it! Burn it to the ground! You heard, man. You heard the man. Burn that shit. What of the Parliament? The VKP, Melendia Knights of the Peace, have formed a squad to deal with the felons, sir. The Risk Breakers, those mud. Oh, the Risk Breakers, those meddling fools. Your will, my lord? Lehmann is yours. Let no one out of the town. You can deal with Sydney and the Blades there. And Parliament? I'll deal with those watchdogs. They won't trouble you further. And the Lord and the young Lord Joshua. He is my light, my soul. If aught should befall him, as you wish, my lord. This is kind of cool. So I like this already. Okay, so this must be the Duke guy, and that was his son that got taken. His wife's kind of hot. Am I fated to rot and wither, even I? Blah blah blah. It went. I didn't get to. I did, it just did that automatically. I didn't get to click anything. Eleven forty-two a.m. Beep, beep, beep. He's that twenty-four. Oh shit. The fuck? What? Deep lab. Um. Bond is an old town with a history of over 2,000 years. Its walls have seen many battles. They are stronger than the mightiest forts of Valendia, and as the sun wheels through the sky, the beauty of their shifting colors surpasses that of any palace. Okay, sounds cool. Let's hang out. I'd like to go to Le Mans. The grand cathedral that towers over the town center is a symbol of Le Mans' indomitable spirit, and is the holy ground of the devout Iochus priesthood. In its height, Le Mans, at its height, Le Mans was a thriving community more than 5,000 people strong. 25 years ago, a great earthquake brought that chapter in Le Mans' history to a close. Okay. A lot of reading going on here, guys. But welcome to Le Mans, apparently. That's a straight-up Final Fantasy XII fucking thing. Just popping up the title in that font. That font and everything. That was straight Final Fantasy XII. Well... Well, well, well. The two sentinels are dead. Murdered. That booty, though. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. This is the only way in? There's a great crevasse preventing entry above ground. And from the sea? Nay. Sunken reefs that... that rose during the earthquake form a gauntlet of whirlpools. Too dangerous. You do know we sent agents in, thinking those ruins were the Mullen Camp base. Not one returned. Not on account of the whirlpools, I'd wager. Surely it was men who killed them. How was it down there? Come down and see for yourself. Come down and hang out. You know what I'm saying? This, this guy could have alone in the dark when no one else could see us. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, bruh. According to the survivors, our comrade Agent Riot headed for Leamond, Leamond before noon. Of course, the reports are vague and we cannot deny the possibility of inaccuracies, yet given that there is only one path to infiltrate Leamond, this office believes the reports to be valid. Okay. Agent Riot. Is that who this guy is? Wait, Riot. That probably is. I feel like there's a some... I remember some character named something Riot. And I seem to recall it from, like best characters of all time list or whatever. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, what's this? That's what I'm here to find out. It does seem well fortified for a wine cellar. Oh, Le Mans wineries once 
vied with the best of Valendia. Vied? I guess that's a, I guess that's the correct word. Since they went out of production, the remaining vintages sell for a premium. If I find any, consider them yours. You plan to go alone? Agent with no combat experience would just be a liability. Ooh, you told you saying I can't fight? Tell me what you know about Mullenkamp and this Sydney fellow. Sidney Losterot, leader of the religious cult Mullenkamp. His real name and age are unknown, one of the many self styled prophets of the apocalypse. So why would a cult missionary commit such a crime? I do not know what the Cardinal thinks, but the VKP believes he is no prophet. Indeed, he is in a dark alliance with Duke Bardor Bardorba. I'm going to have a hard time remembering how to say that. Dar Bardorba, who controls Parliament from behind the scenes. That the cult is but a front. Perhaps this incident is a sign of some falling out between the two. Certainly makes sense. Or merely another of the Cardinal's witch hunts. There are many who would be pro... Many would-be prophets in the land these days, but Sidney is... different. His prophecies ring true, and those enraptured by the way he hums revelations, as though they were simple ballads. All say the same. He is a miracle. Huh. Interesting. In any case, he has a strange power. He can guess the past of those he meets. He can even read hearts. They say his charisma is such that he, his followers offer both body and soul to him. Sounds like you're quite taken with him yourself. Agent Riot! If I do not return by tomorrow's eve, inform HQ, won't you? <laughs> Godspeed. I kind of like how they talk. Also, that booty again. Yo. Look at that misshapen ass girl, though. She got way wide on the hips and very skinny on the waist. Also, uh oh! Uh oh! We sent men to monitor the abandoned mine shaft that leads to Le Monde. All were found dead. At the entrance, other bodies were found. Two knights of the Cardinal's Crimson Blades. Uh oh. Our men were murdered with swords, but the knights' wounds show they died by their own hands. At present, we have taken the bodies into our custody, and our specialists are continuing the examination. This is an excerpt from the Greylands Incident Investigation Report. Okay. Section Pi 3.14. Okay. The door closes behind us. Ah, vintage wine. Delicious. Ah, earthquakes. The best. No live burials today, thanks. So when do I get to play the game? <laughs> A strange power indeed. Okay, well... Ask and ye shall receive. We are now playing the game. So, alright. The world pretty much looks exactly like the battle system. We can move around. We can climb on shit. I'm pressing square to jump. This is kind of cool. Damn, this is actually kind of cool. I like moving around the world like this. Alright, I'm down. I got a map going on down there. I'm guessing that bottom right, like, silhouette of the main character, Riot, uh, is like his health or something. I have 250 HP up in the top, le top left. Bottom left is that silhouette thing I'm talking about. Um... I guess let's just go through the door and see where it goes. Also, other joystick apparently turns the camera. Okay, that's kind of amazing. Um, actually, wait. How do I... Oh, oh. Oh! Interesting. You can, like, turn the camera and keep it that direction. Okay, circle for battle... Circle puts you in battle mode. I didn't know that. I didn't know that just put you in battle mode. So wait, what did I just grab? Wait, uh, get. Oh, were all those things in the treasure chest? That was a lot of things. Holy crap. Okay. I was like, that seems like a lot of things. All right. Climb the boxes. Can we? Okay. 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 Get, get, wait, wait, wait. I'm pressing too many things. Can I chop these boxes? Okay. I guess not. Okay. So if I press up, I can turn the cam. I can literally turn the camera wherever I want. That is kind of cool. Let's not deny this. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's kind of a cool idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm assuming this is a save point. Um, uh, 
Okay, I'm in the equip menu. Let's see what I can do here. We got the Fan Dong. Um, we picked up the Tovar Tovarish to Tovar Tovarish Tovarish. The Tovarish. Is it better? Um, I don't know. I, what's PP? I don't know. Sword versus axe. I guess that's my fucking bronze sword, edged one hand. Bronze axe and mace, one edged one hand. Okay. Uh, my agility goes down. I guess. My attack goes down. I guess. I'm looking at the stats at the bottom there. Class affinity type. Oh, I can change what I'm looking at here. Class. Okay, my physical will go down by one, I guess. Looks like my DP goes down. I don't know what that means. My PP, I don't know what that is. Edged. Okay, this is more of a blunt weapon. Okay, okay. There's a lot of things going on here. This is probably a complicated fucking battle system that I'm probably going to have to learn a lot. Um, also, I just unequipped my weapon, which is not what I wanted. Alright, kind of cool. Kind of a cool menu overall. Okay. Did I pick up a shield? I got a buckler. Equip that shit. Yeah, now we got a shield and a sword. And right now we're equipped in bandages. I got a leather glove. Is that better? Uh, it seems like it. I'm at negative one there. But I'm back to zeros there. I don't know how you can tell if something's better or not. How can you tell? Damn it. I guess it's better. I don't know. I'm putting it on. It seems better. Wait, did I, I didn't put it on. I'm pressing the wrong buttons, damn it. Hold on. Circle is confirmed. Oh my god, this is going to bother me because I'm going to press the wrong button a lot. It's going to throw me off a bunch. Anyway, okay, I got two bandages there. Bandana. Best thing I have. Jerkin. Best thing I have. Sandals. Best thing I have. Necklace. Only thing I have. Alright, so I only got one set of everything right now, which is not a surprise. Items! What else did I pick up? No, not set up. I want to see the regular items. Miscellaneous. Cure Root. Heals 50 HP. I have 10 of them, I guess. Vera Root. Lowers Risk. Extract the Yggdrasil, known to heal status of Paralysis. Cures Poison. Cures Numbness. Lowers Risk by 50 points. Cure stores 100. I don't know what any of this shit is yet. This is weird. Status screen. Ashley Riot. Okay, I have heard his name before. Okay, interesting. Everything's in excellent condition right now, so we'll leave it alone. Map. Okay, kind of cool that we can see map this way. I like it. Data. I'm assuming is where we can save it. Yup. And I'm assuming because I'm on a, what I assume is a save point right now, we can actually save it. We're almost at a half hour. I'm going to try to stick to like 45-ish minute episodes on this playthrough. Sometimes it's going to go over, obviously, because that's just what happens with blind playthroughs. Um, I looked up a little bit about this game in terms of length. It is significantly less long than something like Legend of Dragoon. It's like half as long of a game overall. Um, and also it should be mentioned that it's only one disc. It comes in a two-disc case or a four-disc case, whatever. But it really only has two di or one disc. It's kind of weird. I thought it was going to be a multi-disc game when I looked at the case, but it's literally a one-disc game. Oh, shit. There's a bat. Quick. Get the bat. Fuck you, bat. Get out of here. Fuck off. Hmm, this real-time battle shit's going to be weird. It's going to take me a while to get used to it. Ooh, we can hit, ooh, we can hit that. Yeah, now we can break boxes. Now you're talking. Nothing inside, but hey. I had a feeling you could break that shit. Okay, what am I doing now? Oh, did I want to break those? Oh, maybe I didn't want to break those. Hold on, let me like turn the camera a little bit. Is this something over here? I guess the X button is what you use to interact with things, it seems like, maybe. The circle goes into battle mode like immediately. It's turning the camera thing is going to throw me off for a while. Everything in this game is going to throw me off. Alright, let's see if those boxes respawn. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to blow those up. Oh yeah, definitely wasn't supposed to blow those up. Don't know why they let those be able to be destroyed when you literally need them. Oopsies. <sighs> Gotta remember which buttons do what, man. Too many games, so many buttons. Seriously. Alright. Ooh, what the hell? What, what is this? Wine? 
I guess that's how you get back. Alright, well, not a whole lot going on in this room. Let's keep moving. Let's play for a little while longer, shall we? Through the wine cellars we go. What? And who might you be, sir? Well, got her open? It's no good. Not even a budge. What's this? If it weren't locked a moment ago, eh? It weren't locked a moment ago. No key holds this door. It'd be a grimoire. What's doing this? Well, who'd lock it then? Someone inside? Bug it if I know. Look, I'll be cut off from the others. And where are those scouts, man? They've not returned. There's be no time for loafing around. Keep your cap on, brother. Now come up here and take a look at this. These guys have probably got British accents, but I'm not good at that. Anyway, what's that? A grimoire? What's a grimoire? Grimoire? A precious grimoire? Anyway, is this a door? What's, what's going on over here? This door is locked with a chamomile sigil. Chamomile? Like the tea? Chamomile, delicious chamomile tea? That I'm not really a fan of? I don't know. Anyway, let me turn the camera around again. This is very interesting how I have to turn the camera and stuff. I like that you can go in all directions though. Kinda cute. Cool. I don't really know if there's a better way to turn it. There might be. Anyway, this too. This too be a Grimoire's doing? By the gods! I'd often heard of it, but this? And a worm! And a worm? And a worm. A dragon was sighted at the Duke's Manor. Well, if there's magic about, dragons won't be far behind. I worry about Gildenstern and the others. Ah, they'll be fine. Think of it, man. If we witness miracles such as these on Le Mans doorstep, what then lies within? You win naivete like a crest, brother. Surely the masters know of this grimoire. Mayhaps we've just been in the dark, eh? Yet our charge is to drub those mullen cap scoundrels and... and procure the miracles of Le Monde. Tis but just a rumor, but I've heard that Guildenstern's lot works them magics as well. Rubbish! We're servants of the Lord. No true knight of the cross would dabble in the black arts. It's only a rumor, brother. But if Sydney is truly the worker, the worker of, di oh shit, of Diablery, 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 they claim he is. I say, fight fire with fire. I say, let the Lord be our shield. Ever the choir boy. Ooh, owned him. The only shield I see is the one covering your eyes. Heretic or no, I believe what I see, and right now I see sorcery. Swine will take wing for the likes of this. Use us, use magic, my friend. Aye, but with the grimoire, your fat is so sow. So, how do you say it? I know it's a fat pig or woman pig. Fat is so, I guess. Yeah, fat is so could outfly my swiftest falcon if ye believe the chroniclers. With a grimoire, you say. Yeah, even could make cobblestones float like clouds. Oh, fuck. What? The hell? There's like a child in my face? Uh-oh. Um, oh, shit. You don't know I'm here. Ah-ha! Oh, he missed. Yo, you want some? Get it. Uh, chop him. You don't need those. Get him. You don't need those. Get him. You don't need that. Get him. Oh, fuck. He just hit his own teammate? That's funny. Strategy on accident. Oh shit, they just ran away. Where you going, bitch? I'll fuck your shit up, son. Oh, that's a crit hit. Uh, left arm. Where you going? Oh, fuck. Where you going, bruh? Yeah, suck it. Come here, you bitch. Fuck him up. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like hitting different parts and shit. Uh, I guess fucking hit him in the fucking body. Get out of here. Yeah, got him. Oh, fuck. Ow! That was my kneecap, you bitch. Hey, you wanna... You, mother, you motherfucker. Get the hell out of here, piece of shit. Alright, this is interesting, I gotta say. I didn't get to hear the rest of their conversation, though. How sad. Anyway, treasure time. What do we got? Check the container? Of course, duh. Container has. Oh, wait, what? Uh. What? Um, I'm confused. What? 
I, uh, I guess you can put items in the container? I, yeah, I guess. Um, sure. I don't know what this means, guys. I guess this means, like, I'm saving stuff in a box. Like, can I, is my inventory get full? Is that what I'm saying? I have limited inventory and I need to, like, store stuff in this box when I run out of room? I guess that's what that means? I don't know. Apparently I'm saving, though, so that's cool. Yep, the Wine Guild Hall. We have saved it. All right, well, interesting. Oh, there's another save point here. Well, shit. Let me look around here for a second, and then we'll probably call that an episode. See where this goes. This goes somewhere. Okay, this goes to a new room. The rest of this room is, that's it, right? Like, we're done in here? I don't see anything else going on in here, so we're probably done in this room. I'm just gonna make sure while looking around. Is there a way I could turn? Okay. I don't have to go into the first person while I can just spin the camera like this. Alright, sorry. Uh, sorry for those of you who are like, why the fuck is he not pressing R1 and L1? Yes, I know. What does R2 and L2 do? Okay, L2. Okay, was that a quick use thing? Oh, like a quick use thing, okay. And R2 doesn't do shit. Only L2 does that, okay. I'm trying to use the other joystick to spin, but I'm gonna have to get used to the R1 and L1. That's a PS1 thing, though. I'll, I'll get used to it. It looks like you can go in all eight directions. It's just eight directions. Okay. You click it once and it goes one turn. Anyways, I think I'll call it an episode here. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what else to think right now. Oh, also my HP just goes back up naturally. I didn't even notice that earlier. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, like I said, I think I'm gonna do that's gonna do it for this first episode of Vagrant Story. I'm pretty hyped for this Let's Play because I, like I said, know nothing about this game. I guess I recognize the name Ashley Riot, but that's about all I know. Like. I mean, like, recognize, and I guess I recognize the this this character sort of like how he looks, only because I've seen the 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 um the cover of the game for years, and I guess he kind of looks like that with his weird little fucking flippy s s hairs sticking out. It's fucking Calix, multiple Calix, weird, very Square Enix, I know. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are excited for this Let's Play. If you haven't played this game before, maybe it'll interest you because it seems to be an obscure one for people who don't know all about the PS1 RPG days like I do and others do. But this is one that escaped me from uh, my childhood and my teenage years growing up, and so I'm glad to finally be playing it. Thank you again to Rigitsu for giving me this opportunity to play it for you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it, man. Let's fucking do it. Anyway, let's go to the menu no, I just, I just saved it. I literally just saved it. I don't need to save it again. I'll just see you guys next time. How about that? Peace!